Hey Free Spirits and welcome to Self Love Month, the month of February, which also has Valentine's Day in it. So this will be your special Valentine's Day workout to help you open your heart. So let's begin sitting up nice and tall. You can close those eyes, take the hands out to the side, and let's begin by taking a nice deep inhale, bringing those arms up over the head, breathing in love, and exhale, releasing anything else that no longer serves you any purpose. And inhale, breathe in love, and exhale, release everything else. And one more, take a nice deep inhale, and exhale. And lower those hands down, go ahead and open those eyes, and we're gonna begin by laying on our stomach today. So we're going to begin by taking our hands directly underneath our shoulders and our feet are going to be hips distance apart so the tops of the feet are going to be grounded to the mat. We're going to lower our forehead down to the mat and then take an inhale and when you exhale roll your shoulders back, press into the hands and gently lift up. Now when you lift up in this position I really want you to scoop your tailbone under, really root your pelvis down to the ground so we protect the low back and lower it back down. Inhale. Exhale, roll the shoulders, press into the hands, and lift up, really opening the chest and the heart up and back down. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, press into the hands, and lift up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift up. Lift. And lower. Let's do one more. And bring it back down and just kind of let those hands relax a little bit bend your knees and just sway your feet from side to side and let's lower those feet back down so we're going to move up a little bit higher this time so inhale and exhale roll the shoulders press up and lift just to where your belly button just barely comes off of the mat keeping your gaze down the bridge of your nose and lower back down Inhale, exhale, roll the shoulders, press in the hands, and lift up. Keep that chest open and back down. You want to keep the glutes loose as we rise up into our position here. And back down, roll the shoulders, press in the hands, and come on up. And one more, roll, press, and lift. And let's lower back down, relax the hands, bend the knees and just sway the feet from side to side. And then we're gonna move into full extension of the cobra. So if your body feels ready to go for the full extension, you may, otherwise you have those first two options. So let's take our hands underneath the shoulders, inhale, exhale, roll, press up, lift with the chest, and lower back down. Inhale, exhale, and back down. Roll, press in the hands, and up. Keep the tops of the feet grounded to the ground. Up. And let's do one more. Inhale, exhale, lift. And just hold it here. Feel everything working. Relax those glutes. Pelvis is in the ground. And lower back down. Relax the hands out, bend those knees, and just sway those feet from side to side. So we're gonna take our hands by our sides and we're gonna tuck our hands nice and tight to the sides of the body. Tops of the feet are gonna start on the ground, take a nice deep inhale, and when you exhale, lift the chest and the head up off of the ground, keeping the hands as snug to the body as you can, and lower back down. That'll take some flexibility to keep those hands there. Inhale and exhale, lift. And lower back down and bring it back up again keeping that core nice and tight and up imagine you have a nice tight corset around your midsection holding everything together let's do one more lift and lower and relax everything bend those knees and just sway those feet from side to side for this next one we're going to add the leg lift 
So those hands are tucked in again, forehead starts on the mat, inhale and exhale, lift. And inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Try to pull those shoulders back as you raise that chest up off of the ground and lift and lower. We're gonna do two more. And on this next one, we're gonna add a little bonus if you'd like. Let's lift and hold. And if you'd like, you can bend your knees and try to grab your feet. If that's something for you, if not, keep those feet down and lower everything down. Relax, bend the knees and just sway the feet from side to side. And then we're going to add a little arm action into this next one. So this next one, we're going to start with our arms straight out in front of us. Forehead will begin on the mat. Take a nice deep inhale. And when you exhale, lift the arms and the legs up. You're going to take your hands and make fists. So the fists are facing each other. You're going to pull the fists down towards your shoulders, flip your grip, and then push your hands down. And then reverse it. Bring it back up. Push it out and lower back down. Inhale, exhale, lift and pull. Pull it back in, extend it out and lower down. If the legs are too much, you can just do the upper body, bring it in, push it down again and out. And lift and pull. Keep those arms as snug to the body as you possibly can. And let's shoot for one more here. Pull and push. And hold it here for just a breath. Lift that chest up, maybe lift up a little bit higher and then slowly bring it down. Let's bend those knees and sway those feet from side to side again. Just releasing that tension. And then we're gonna come on up for a side plank. So we're up in our position for our side plank. I have a tutorial for the side plank if you would like to watch that so you know which one you would like to be in. I'm gonna extend my feet out nice and straight. I'm gonna stay here on the forearm so my shoulder and my elbow line up, hand out flat. Take my hand on my hip and lift those hips off of the ground. And then we're gonna take that hand and raise it up towards the sky. So make sure that you're staying lifted out of the shoulder here. And I'm just going to be quiet here and just really let you focus on what's going on in this position. Just a little bit longer. And then lower the hips down, drop that hand. So coming back into your side plank position, we're going to lift those hips up. And we're gonna drop the hips down for three, two, and one. And lift those hips up, take the hand out, reach with that hand. You can even look out, out at that hand, feel the stretch happening all on the side of the body. Take that hand back down and lower those hips down to the ground. And bend the knees, take both of your hands in front of you. We're gonna push ourselves up and move it on over to the other side where we'll set up for side plank on this side. So get set, same exact position you were at the other side and lift those hips up, take that hand and hold it. And let's just relax into this. This is not an easy exercise. So just be gentle with yourself, meet yourself where you're at. If you need to drop out of it and come back into it, that is certainly an option. Just stay lifted out of your right shoulder. Always protect it. And let's just hold it here. And take that hand down, lower that hip down. Take a breath here. Just kind of recompose yourself, recenter yourself. And then let's get set up for that mermaid stretch. All right, lift those hips up. We're gonna drop the hand down and then we're gonna drop the hip for three, two, and one. Lift, arm comes up and out, reach out and over so you can feel that stretch all on the side of the body. 
bring it back up, hand goes down, and lower those hips down to the ground. And we're gonna come on up, maybe shake those arms out a little bit, shake the legs out, and we're gonna move straight into knee hovers, one of my favorite exercises. So you're gonna come into a tabletop position. So we line up our shoulder to wrist and hip to knee. Keep that core engaged here. And then we're gonna flex our feet and slowly raise, just hover those knees off of the ground here to where you could fit a piece of paper underneath. That's about it. And just keep that tummy engaged and just breathe. If you, may, if you have any knee issues, you may wanna proceed with caution with this one or skip this all together. If you need another exercise to fill in in between for this one, just shoot me an email. And lower those knees down, unflex the feet, and just kind of shift from side to side. We're gonna do that a couple more times. And let's bring it back to that tabletop position, flex the feet, and hover those knees off of the ground. Watch those shoulders, make sure they're not coming up into the ears. And keep checking on those knees because you will see they will really start to want to hover a little bit higher than the higher off the mat than they're supposed to. And lower those knees down and just unwind everything and just kind of move it from side to side. And then let's get set back up one more time. Flex those feet, hover those knees off of the ground and let's just hold it here. embrace this feeling. Feels good, right? Check in with the knees, check in with the belly, check in with the shoulders, the usual suspects, and lower those knees down, unflex the feet, and let's sit on back. Maybe give your wrists a little bit of a roll if you're feeling some pressure in there. And then we're going to grab our block to set up for our next exercise. So you'll take this block and you're going to place it between your thighs here. You don't have to have a block for this one, but it is recommended. So squeezing that block between the thighs, you're going to take your arm straight out in front of you. You're going to relax your shoulders down and very slowly as you exhale, you're going to start to lean back, staying in a straight line from your knee all the way to your head. Keep looking forward, use those thighs and lift on up. Squeeze that block, make it nice and tight. That'll help activate your core a little bit too. Pelvic floor muscles. Inhale and then exhale, lean back. Keep looking forward. Use those quads to lift on up. And back again. If you can only lean back this far and then come up, that is completely fine. You'll feel yourself, the more you do this one, you'll get stronger and stronger and more flexible. We got a few more to go. Keep looking forward, lean back. Try to push yourself to go back a little bit further each time. And we got one to go. Hang with me here. And come on up. Relax those hands, move that block out away of the way. And we're gonna bring our hands down to the mat. We're gonna flex those feet, shift our hips up and back. Give those legs a little bit of a stretch and then walk those hands back towards the feet, round the spine, drop the head and very slowly come on up. Head is the last thing to rise and we're going to go into a chair pose. So you can start by making your feet hips distance apart. If you want more of a challenge, you can bring your feet all the way together, your big toes together and your heels will go out just a little bit away from each other. So feet here, take the hands on the hips. We're gonna send the bottom back and we're gonna sit back and down like we're trying to sit in a chair. Now normal chair pose, you extend the arms out. We're gonna bend our elbows to pretend as if we are a cactus. So we're opening that chest up, keeping the chin up, maybe trying to sit a little bit lower. Look down at those knees. One will tend to shift more forward than the other. So make sure those knees are staying in line. If you want an extra, an extra challenge, 
You can raise those toes off of the mat. And let's just breathe here. Feel the chest opening up. This will give you a nice stretch there too. If you feel your back arching, just slightly tuck your tailbone under. Very nice. Keep holding. Pull those shoulder blades back a little bit more. Let's drop the hands down, straighten the legs, and roll down. And you can take those hands on the mat and go ahead and walk it out to a downward dog. Give yourself a little bit of a stretch here. And let's bend those knees, untuck those toes, and grab either a roller or a block. So with the roller, we're gonna sit on the end of it, and then you're gonna lay back to where your head is supported. And we'll drop our arms out to the side and keep the knees bent. If you wanna straighten them for more relaxation, you may. Or if you wanna go into a butterfly pose, you can do that as well. If you're in this position, just go ahead and just lie here while I explain for the people who do not have a roller. You're gonna take your block and place it in between the shoulder blades. You have three options. I'll put it on the middle one. You can drop your head back if you have a pillow or something to prop yourself up, or if you have another block, you may do that. And drop those arms out to a T. And just feel the muscles of the chest just really opening up here. Just feeling yourself melting into the roller or the block and into the floor. And let's go ahead and just take a nice deep inhale saying love as you breathe in. And exhale through the nose. And on your next in breath, just speak love to yourself softly and exhale. And one more love. Let that love fill your entire being up. And then exhale. Relax just a little bit more. I hope you have enjoyed this workout. I hope your heart is a little bit more open than when you started. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comment section or shoot me an email. Peace out. Happy self-love month, free spirits.